Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create, label, and describe paths and polygons in Google Earth. Let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this. So, first of all, let's say in my project here, I want to create a little map that depicts the problems that Atlantic salmon have in spawning in Maine. And one of the problems I want to point out is that there's a dam here in Skowhegan that prevents the fish from getting to their spawning grounds in the Sandy River, which is over here. So what I want to do is go in and first of all, I'm going to add my place mark. I'm just going to put it here. And I'm going to create a new project. And my project, I'll just call obstacles for Atlantic salmon and I could write in more of a description if I want to but for now I'm gonna leave it as is and now my place mark I'm going to change the title of it and call it the Skowhegan Dam now in my description I want to add a little bit more information about this and say this is the fourth dam that Atlantic salmon meet before getting to the Sandy River. Now I can change out some aspects of this icon itself. I can make it bigger. I can change the type of icon. You can see we've got even more icons over here. If I wanted to look for one of a fish, I could put it right here. Use that fish icon and make it even bigger. Let's use a large one and change the color. Let's make it, I don't know, red. Okay. Or I can make it yellow. Okay. It's hard to see. So let's put it back. Let's make it red again. All right. So there's my red fish. My red fish icon. Now, I want to highlight how long and how far it is from the Skowhegan Dam to the headwaters of the Sandy River, or I should say the meeting point of the Sandy River and the Kennebec River. The headwaters are 30 miles upriver. Let's go and do that right now. So let's click on the path or polygon option. And I'm just going to click along the river here. And I can move that path all the way along. Let's keep going. You can see here, I can adjust it as I go. I can go back and adjust it. So if I miss a spot, you know, maybe I take a shortcut and I want to fix that line a little bit, I can do so. Let's say I want to go here and I want to drag this back down. There we go. And now I can drag that in to match the river a little bit better. And you'll notice in my upper right hand corner that the line is measuring as it goes. Let's keep going. I'm going to go all the way up there. And I'm going to keep dragging this line around to make it fit the river a little bit better and a little bit more accurately. You can see there. Now, when you do this with a road, if you, I was measuring a road, I would be presented with an option to just snap to the road. However, I'm following a river, and so I don't have that option. So, there we now have my path along the river. And I want to change this. I'm going to save it to my project, first of all. And then I'm going to change the name of it. I'm going to say, path from... Skowhegan to the Sandy River. And what's important to note is you can add a description here. And in that description, you could hyperlink to other things. Let's say I want to hyperlink to like a NOAA website. I might say, this is a long path. NOAA has expressed concern about the viability of salmon through here. Okay. 
and I might link to the NOAA website. Now, just like with a place mark, I can customize the color. If I want to make it purple, and I'll make it easier for my viewers to find, I'll make it 16 pixels thick. And now I now now I have that as a part of my project. I can close that out. And finally, I want to zoom out and I want to highlight the entire area that's affected by this dam and the fish. So I might go here and say I want to get all of this area. And consider this all a part of that same drainage. Now, I'm obviously not zoomed in and being terribly detailed for this demo. But you get the idea there. Now, I can call this Drainage Area Impacted by Dam. And again, I can change the outline, the outline thickness, the color of it. You can change my fill color. I want to make it 50%. Or I want to make it 100% and it completely blocks out the entire thing. Let's go back to 25% and I can change that color. Maybe I want to make it a light blue okay, to represent water. And now I have my place mark, my path, and my polygon that's highlighted here on the map. Now, if I want to share this, I can do it a couple of ways. Let's say I'm just using this in front of a live studio audience. I'll click on the slideshow button, and it'll take me through each one of the elements there. But if I want to share it with somebody else to collaborate on this project, I've got a couple of options. I can hit that share button in the upper right hand corner and I can invite somebody just like I would with a Google document. I can change it to anybody with the link can view and I can copy that link and give that to people. Or I can go up here and select file and I want to export as a KML file. Then I've downloaded that as a KML file, which I can email to anybody, and they can open it and view it on their computers. So that's how you can create paths and polygons and place marks in Google Earth, label them, and share them. As always, for more things like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.